Hi guys, this is Hadra from Glitter Gloss and Glaze and I welcome you all to the channel. I'm here with a new video and this is kind of a laid back, relaxing video because I thought it's been a long time since I actually sat down and talked to people and shared my stuff and asked about yours and I think it was, I think it was high time that I did that. So here I am, today I'm going to tell you about all about my struggle with anxiety and headaches and yeah if anybody out there is going through the same thing i hope this helps and if you are interested please keep on watching before i tell you what i go through i have to tell you the history of how this all started so basically i've always been the kind of person who takes up a lot of pressure and a lot of tension and it just makes me work it just makes me a faster person i mean i make a, i make better decisions and i pro i just thrive under pressure i feel that if i have a lot of pressure on me i kind of do stuff more quickly and better and uh, that just is weird but here it is so now for a long long time pressure has been something which has driven me and i love the thrill of it i guess but now it has just taken up this bad ugly shape of anxiety and i wanted to share this with you guys because i know there are so many people out there who are going through it and on camera on such videos we kind of look so different than a normal person that somebody who's looking out there would think wow i mean what a life girl you are living the life and you you've got what you love and you do what you love how do you get anxiety and i just want to tell you that as is true for any other disease as is true for temperature or sore throat or all the things all the wrong things that go in your body or you know your body faces you just don't ask someone how do you get a temperature i mean why do you have a sore throat i mean you don't ask people that so why would you ask how do you have anxiety because this is something that just happens to you you don't ask for it i mean yes your lifestyle is it does play a part but usually it's just something which just happens to you through circumstances or stuff like that i mean usually tragedies but a lot of people don't even have any tragedy and they still feel anxious or have depression so it has nothing to do with you it's it's just this weird phenomena it's just any other disease that happens to you so don't feel like you're alone ever 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 because there are so many people who are going through it and me being one of them my mom passed away around four years back that was the time i actually started feeling the burden of the pressure that i was in because before that i would be in pressure and my mom would just help me out and my dad would just help me out and still my i have the best dad in the world i have the best husband i have the greatest in-laws i mean i have such supportive people who are so helpful in you know not judging me i guess because that's the whole point somebody who's going through it is most afraid of getting judged and being able to weak when it's so hard to talk about it and you know accept that you have it and get attention for it or get any advice for it or any therapy for it any medicines for it because that's how our society is so i have great 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 father and a great family but the void that my mom left could never be filled and it just is there it just can never go away so that kind of stirred up a lot of emotions in me i see mother and daughter duos doing stuff and i just miss her so much and that started this thing in me that i miss her so much and i don't want my daughter to go through what i am going through although that's crazy right <laughs> but that was the beginning i mean i have a daughter and i just i just felt that i'm gonna die and she's gonna be left alone and she'll feel like i do <laughs> because i 
do feel alone a lot of times I mean that's weird I never cry with this stuff <laughs> because I am strong you guys I mean if I'm talking to somebody about anxiety I would never cry but somehow because there's nobody in front of me and it's kind of I'm talking to myself I feel I am anyways that's how I felt that if something happened to me what would happen to her because she's so young and everybody needs their mom everybody needs their support system to be and with I them love my mom. Yeah, and she saw me crying so anyways so i the whole point was that i they want her to feel that way but and that's so crazy because i'm so young and i should be enjoying life uh i then started having panic attacks not the extreme ones but you know the usual <laughs> the usual because it's kind of part of my life where you start having this like fast heartbeat and you start getting dizzy and you feel out of your body it's it's just so weird that you feel hollow suddenly and that was the first time that happened was on i categorically remember it the first major panic attack that i had was in october it was third october 2016 it was my daughter's birthday and we were going to the restaurant and she was with me and there was no apparent reason to have a panic attack i was sitting and i suddenly felt like i cannot breathe i mean i'm breathing but i felt that i'm not breathing and that's so weird to express or tell anybody because i was just so scared i thought i'm gonna just faint and i'm gonna die and, and this the world is gonna end right now for me and then actually what happened is my husband took me to a hospital in the emergency room and they checked everything they said you're fine it's just anxiety don't stress yourself out blah 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 all the things that people say so i got a medicine for it not for actual anxiety but for uh, my heart rate so if you if you know i it's just it's in draw basically a lot of people use it it's just for your heartbeat lower the heartbeat so that's what i took and i still was it was something i did i felt like i was out of my body and i couldn't control was how what was happening to me but then so many people reached out to me so many of my cousins and so many of my friends and i wouldn't take the name exactly because it's their story or their thing to tell and i don't want to do that but i for the first time saw that so many people are going through this shit and not even outside the family they are in my family and you know they're facing so much and i shouldn't feel like i'm alone and that just gave me the strength to keep walking but i wasn't getting any better i wouldn't go out in a car i had just completely completely stopped going out i would just i was scared to sit in a car for more than 2 minutes because i thought that's that's where it all happened so it probably will happen again and every time i was sad i would think about all that stuff and it just happened again so i stopped sitting in the car whenever i would go out my palms would start sweating and i would start sweating and it was horrible horrible and i do not wish it on anybody but then i decided that i need to go see a doctor because that's not the life i want to live and that's not the life i want to teach my daughter to live and i don't want her to see me like this because that's just not an option how could she, how, how, what kind of person or how strong would she be if she sees me like that all the time and i couldn't take her outside i couldn't go out with her to play because i was just so afraid and i thought that's it the person who played the most important role in all this was my husband he was just so supportive and he was just he was just there i mean he he would push me and tell me to do things and go out because he knows that i loved going out i am a very extrovert person i love going out meeting people enjoying parties shopping so one day he just sat me down and he's like what the hell are you doing with your life what do you want if you don't even try how do you know you can't do it or you can do it just go out and if that happens it happens know that you will survive it because it won't kill you it will just make you stronger and that that that's when it clicked it was like yeah that's true i want to do it i want to 
go out and I'm gonna see what happens and whatever happens I'll just face it um, and that was the first time I went out ages almost after four or five months I missed so many important occasions so that was when I actually decided that I want to do something about it and I can't live my life like that I went to a doctor told him what is happening to me he's like a lot of people a lot of young people are going through it it's cool you'll be fine you just have to maintain a healthier lifestyle reduce your weight get on track be healthy and focus on your health that's that's most important just don't think about that stupid stuff he didn't say that way but i could feel it so yeah he gave me some pills so i yeah i i take some medicines to kind of help with it they're not the strongest of medicines but they're like a very minor anti-anxiety pills which i have to take for a few more months and um, hopefully i'll get off them sooner or later i don't mind if that helps so i the basic point of telling you this is that you need to get yourself checked if you feel that you are having anxiety or depression or stuff like that because there's no shame in it i know our society is so mean and so bad but i think it is becoming more accepting of people who have mental illness and who have anxiety who face all these things i think if you go out and get yourself checked that's for you you make your lifestyle better you make the standard of your living better and that's the most important thing i mean you get only one life and if you don't enjoy it to the fullest what's the point and that's how i see it and as far as headaches are concerned i started having them after my daughter was born so around five years now we are in a steady relationship <laughs> they come really often when i'm more tensed but sometimes they even come twice a week sometimes every day sometimes four times a month so there's no exact time for them but yes i've been to doctors they're like they're like mixture of things because you have gained weight just a disclaimer i was way slimmer when i was unmarried after zara i gained weight so it was a mixture of gaining weight and then anxiety and then all the weird digestive problems and stuff like that so the 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 headaches are my constant partners going nowhere but yeah i've known how to control them i feel it and i pop a pill not like the bad ones you guys i am not an addict so i take usually panel for it stuff like that the minor ones i'm not in the high leagues yet and i hope to never get there so that's my way of controlling it and when I have a headache, I just try to not see the mobile that much, go to sleep, put a cool uh, ice bag on my head and just relax. Try and relax. That helps. And sometimes it's so much that I have to go to an emergency room and get the injection for it, for the pain. Otherwise, it just doesn't go away. That happens very rarely, especially it just happens when I've done something really hectic or I have been on a journey for very long. That That's when that thing happens. Other than that, I'm really cool. I know how to control that. So it's not a major problem. That's my lifestyle. So, yeah. So the point of sharing all this with me was to let you know that there are so many people who are going through it this is just a way of connecting with each other and telling all the people out there who have these problems that you don't need to be alone you just have to turn on this youtube and see how many other people are there and it just gives you hope that life moves on you will get better there's light at the end of every tunnel and um, you'll get this you 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 will get over this battle really really soon the only tip that i would give you is that do something which makes you happy if that's writing or singing or reading or anything for me it's making videos so i do that and that just makes me happy and it gives me the strength to fight more be a better stronger person so that's what i do i pray when i feel extremely helpless i just believe that there is a God looking out for me even if I don't have a mom because he has her and he loves me 
70 times more than her so he's out there looking out for me and that's that's something which I take some solace in um, if you're not that religious just do something else do yoga if that helps do whatever you like but have some me time do something which gives you hope which makes you enjoy life which makes you want to live and you'll soon be able to overcome your fear or your anxiousness or anything like that because nothing is more important than what we tell ourselves is uh, so that's that that's way uh, that's way a lot of blathering and I don't know if I will put this up if you're seeing this I probably did put it up and that's a success because it's it's something so intimate and you know putting yourself out there is never easy but I just want to help all those people who are going through it and I hope this does and I love you girls so so much you know that and yeah i'll see you next time with a brand new video i hope you enjoyed it if you did hit the subscribe button the bell button give this a huge thumbs up and comment let me know if there is something you are going through or your loved ones are going through and all that jazz i'd love to hear from you and i'll see you next time with a brand new one i love you so so much bye